good Friday afternoon from the farmer's garden. I'm one of the farmers and I'm in the garden right now. And it does not look good. I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a reporter on the news. Everything is depressing, it's very sad, there's no good news. Um <laughs> honestly though, if these clouds that are around us today don't collect up and do something here at the garden there's a lot of things that are just done we're just gonna have to pull them out and even if it does rain today I don't know how much of it will bounce back I really don't um, yeah so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you what's here oh yeah yeah I'm gonna show you what's here and if these clouds don't do anything, that that might be about it for the garden until we can get some things planted at the house. Um, those things would be watered with um, city water, basically community water. That gets expensive too, so we can't just pump a lot to it, but it'd be better than here. Yeah, I'm going to show you what we have. Okay standing in what we're calling the pack shed garden because this is the area where we would like to eventually put our pack shed this is what we have so the peas you can see look good peas we learned last year are actually um from originally the plants were from africa and that is partly why they are so drought tolerant and of course they've been uh, selectively bred through the years to give us what we know today. This isn't exactly what we had uh, when the first peas were brought across on a ship. But anyways, that's your little tidbit. But peas are looking okay. Okra is a hot weather plant and okra does not look okay. There's one that looks okay. But this is what the vast majority look like. These were supposed to be lima beans. You can see they're just disappearing. These are supposed to be zucchini. Uh, these will perk up some when it gets cool this evening when, when the sun goes down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pick some of these cantaloupes and bring them to market tomorrow. Hey, look. A critter already picked a cantaloupe for us, so that's fun. I'm going to say... I'm thinking this might have been a coon, or it could have been a rodent, actually. I'm not certain, um, but yeah, they picked one. So I told y'all, well, no, I told on Facebook earlier that I'm going to be bringing cantaloupes tomorrow to the market, and they're mostly these sunburned cantaloupes, and I don't even know how good they're going to be, but I'll bring them, and they'll be a dollar a piece, and you can give it a shot. But you can see, if we don't get rain, that's the end of the cantaloupes. Uh, the squash isn't looking great. Pickles aren't looking great. Sweet corn is just straight up not going to pollinate because that's all the pollen on the top right now. And it's supposed to be dropping on what we call the silks. But because it is dry, no silks have emerged. Or very few silks have emerged. Uh, so, there won't be any sweet corn. It's, yeah, so all of this pollen should be falling down on the growing ears at the bottom and it hasn't attempted to put any oh look there's one right there where it tried to do something yeah yeah so that's a super depressing video um not any fun to make not any fun to watch uh not any fun to be out here but there's clouds and every once in a while we hear thunder so we're really praying that it comes on this way and we get something our pumpkins are trying to make they're even starting to turn orange a little bit there's a few things out here trying uh, all right so here's the deal without rain our market is going to be back down to just one tent instead of two we simply will not have enough to fill up two and it's mostly going to be jelly um and peas <laughs> And without rain, we may have to drop our Tuesday afternoon market because there's just not enough to take. So, yeah, that's where we are. I'm sorry that you couldn't really enjoy your visit to the farm today because it was just depressing. 
but that's the update for the week. Pray for rain for us um, and pray for rain for the farmers and ranchers who even more heavily depend on the rain than we do. The ones that have hundreds and thousands of acres that they literally cannot water. Yeah. Thanks for coming to the farm today. And come back when you can stay longer. And bring some rain when you come. <laughs>